I want to go ahead and talk about the supply chain. You've been hearing a lot about it lately. It's being blamed for shortages and everything from cars to paper plates. Yeah, but what exactly is it and how does it normally work? 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean joins us from Port Tampa Bay to break it down for us and whether our port could actually help the situation. Good morning, Jenny. Yeah, good morning. You know, a port like this is just one of the links in the supply chain, but I wanted to break down the supply chain as simply as possible for you. So I reached out to the experts at Tampa's Blue Grace Logistics and I gave them the example of, say, the hottest video game, how it gets into stores and into your hands for the holidays. A supply chain really is made up of multiple different things at its at its core. It is getting the products from raw material to a finished good to a shelf. Randy Ofiera is the vice president of sales at Blue Grace Logistics. They basically help clients transport product, so they know a thing or two about the supply chain and how it should work. Using our video game example, he says the first step is to get the materials to even create it. A lot of companies will do that overseas, bring it to the U.S. Obviously, there's a lot of reasons that companies do that. The next step is finding a company to make the product and test it, also usually done overseas. Then that video game will need to be packaged and sometimes stored before shipping to the U.S. So you have to import that to the United States. The majority of things imported to the United States come through the ports of Long Beach and Los Angeles, which is where you're seeing a lot of that congestion today. After getting to the U.S., the product can finally be sent out to stores. So if you're selling that video game to Walmart, as example, you have to then move it from the port to the regional Walmart DCs so that Walmart can then put that product on their shelf for the consumer to buy. All right, so Jenny is at Port Tampa Bay this morning. The governor was there just a few weeks ago, Jenny, and he was trying to ease the situation, offering up our port to California, but is that going to help? Is that likely to happen? Well, not really in the short term. So Oviera tells me that in order for ships to kind of move things from California to come here, they would literally have to travel thousands of miles and go through the Panama Canal, and that could take a really long time. But companies could start considering having their products shipped to the eastern seaboard and could open up ports Alin, Florida to be able to take some of that, some of those items and take some of the load off California. But it's not likely to happen in the short term, as I mentioned. So the problems that we're going to see with the supply chain, according to Ofiera, it could go on for at least another year and a half.